and we're gonna get warmed up. So let's get started with your 10 jumping jacks, whether you go high impact or low. Once you've done your 10 jumping jacks, we're gonna alternate 10 front lunges. Keep the lunge nice and small. You don't need to get very deep into the lunge. We only need to warm up hips, knees, and ankles. We'll have lots of time to get deep into some lunges later on. Once you've done five left, five right for your 10 total, we've got leg swings. So with the leg swings, feel free to hold on to something for balance if you need to. If you don't have a wall or anything close by, just get your eyes up on your focal point, tighten up through those abs, and swing arm to opposite leg, and that will help with your balance. Once you have done 10 swings on each leg, we're gonna come down onto the floor, high plank or push up position. So everyone's on hands and toes. And we're gonna step the same foot wide to the same hand. So bring that leg nice and wide. Take that hand, open up towards the ceiling, step that foot back. And then same thing on the other side. Make sure your eyes follow the hand to the ceiling. Really getting into that hip, chest, and shoulder stretch. Once you've done 10, so five on the left, five on the right, stay down in your high plank or push up position. We're gonna finish off with either 10 plank toe taps or 10 plank jacks. You can either jump the feet or step them up to you. Once you've done your 10 toe taps or jacks, Pop it up, and we're gonna get started. All right, so how this works is that we're gonna start with um, an interval circuit, 45 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We run through the circuit twice, then we're gonna go into a two minute complex. So we're gonna start with a one arm row. So knee soft, push those hips back, choose the side left or right. So we're gonna go one arm row, one arm row. We're actually gonna repeat that twice. Then we're gonna hit the deck. We're gonna get set up for a running aid row. And then I'll just talk you guys through the rest. So, grab one dumbbell for me. Pick which side you wanna start with. Doesn't matter to me. We got 35 seconds. So knee soft, push that butt back. We're gonna drive that elbow up and back towards your ceiling. Eyes on the floor, we need that nice neutral spine. Keeping those abs engaged to protect the lower back. And as you drive that elbow up towards your ceiling, give that shoulder blade a good squeeze at the top so that you can feel it contract towards that spine. All right, guys, we got about five seconds left on this side. And then we just simply switch sides. Good. Same thing other side. Watch your positioning. Now, if you have like a bench or anything at home that you want to put the non-working hand on, you can do that. So you can use like a chair or a coffee table, a workout bench, the arm on a couch. And that will give you a little bit more upper body support if you find being in this position a little bit more of a challenge on the lower back. If you start to feel your lower back in this position, it just means that your abs are not supporting the back anymore. And your back is having to do more work than it should. All right, we got five seconds, guys. We're gonna repeat this one more time. So we're gonna switch hands again. So go back to the first side. We're gonna do the one arm row one more time on each side. Then we come down into the renegade row. Knee soft, push that butt back. Drive that elbow up and back. And when you squeeze that shoulder blade towards the spine, you should feel that mid-back contract every time that elbow comes up. Keep that nice neutral spine, keep those abs tight. Your knees are just nice and soft and your butt is pushed back. We got 10 seconds left on this side. And then we'll just simply switch. We got five, four, three, Two. All right, same thing on the other side. And then you're gonna need two dumbbells. We're gonna get set up for the renegade row. Knee soft, push that butt back. Drive that elbow up and back towards your ceiling. Squeeze that mid back. Make sure that spine is nice and flat or neutral. Abs are tight. 
knee stop and push that butt back. Good work, guys. Come on. Once we've done this circuit twice, we don't actually go back to it. We got 10 seconds. Once you've done the circuit, you are done that circuit. All right, five seconds, guys. Renegade rows are coming up. Three, two, hit the deck, knees or toes. You're gonna place a dumbbell in each hand. We're gonna pop it up. If you're on your toes, get your feet a little bit wider. Drive that elbow up and back. Keep your back nice and flat, so eyes are on the floor. Hips are down. Don't let that butt creep up. Keep the belly button pulled up into the spine to support that lower back. Drive that elbow up and back, just like you did with the one arm row. Squeeze that mid back. You got 10 seconds. We're gonna stand it up. We're gonna go into a split lunge for the legs. In three, two, come on up. All right, pick a leg, left or right. It doesn't matter which one you have out in front. Feet nice and wide, shoulders down and back. Drop that back knee, stand up nice and tall. Weight is on your front foot. We're gonna drop the knee down as far as you can. Eyes up on a focal point for posture and balance. And then as you stand up, I want you to think of driving through the heel of your front foot. We got 15 seconds left here. And then we're gonna switch the legs. Last 10 seconds. The split lunge, we're gonna do twice on each leg. So we're gonna go left, right, left, right. Good work. Shake it out, same thing on the other side. Remember, you can go two dumbbells, you can hold one, you can go body weight. All right, split those feet, drop that back knee, come up nice and tall. Weight is on that front foot. We're gonna drive through the heel of that front foot, the stand back up, dropping that back knee down as much as you can, watch your posture, keep your eyes up, and nice and tight. Good work, guys. We got 10 seconds left, and we're gonna switch the legs around again. So we're gonna do each side one more time. Five, four, three, two, shake it out. Go back to that first leg. Make any weight adjustments you need to for round two. Woo! All right, you ready? Flip those feet, you're back on that first leg. Take that posture check, chest up, abs tight, weight on that front foot, drop that back knee down, push through the heel of the front leg to come back up. Nice job, guys. We have about 15 seconds left on this leg, and then we'll swap it out. 10 seconds, that's it. Go right until that timer. We got five, four, three, two, Shake it out. Back to that second leg. And then we're gonna move on to a deadlift. All right, split those feet. Drop that back knee, come up nice and tall. Shoulders down and back, take that posture check. Eyes are up, abs nice and tight. Drop that back knee, weight on the heel of that front foot. Come on guys, deadlifts are coming up. We got 15 seconds left here. With the deadlift, you can hold on to two dumbbells, one kettlebell, you can even go body weight. We've got five seconds, four, three, two, shake it out. All right, deadlift. I want you to find a focal point for the eyes so we can keep that nice flat back. All right, grab your weight. Knees are soft, I want you to push that butt back with a nice stretch in the hamstring. Squeeze those glutes to stand back up. Abs are nice and tight to support the lower back. Chest is up, shoulders down and back. We got 15 seconds left here. And then we're gonna rinse and repeat this circuit one more time, starting with our one arm row. That's it guys. We got five seconds. We're gonna grab some water. We need one dumbbell. All right, so back to the top. Now we're gonna rinse and repeat just one more time and then we're gonna move on. 
One arm row for the back. Knee stop, push that butt back. Drive that elbow up and back behind you. Squeeze that shoulder blade towards the spine. You should feel the mid back contract as you drive that elbow up. Push those hips back. Keep your eyes on the floor, abs nice and tight. We got about 10 seconds left on this side, and then we'll just get set up on the other side. All right, we got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, switch it out. Remember, you can always make weight adjustments as we go along. All right, switch the hands up, soften those knees, push that butt back, drive that elbow up and back. Eyes on the floor, we need that nice flat back, abs are tight, knees soft, push those hips out. Squeeze that mid back as you drive the elbow up and back towards your ceiling. We got 15 seconds guys, we're gonna do each side one more time before we go on to the running knee throw. That's it, we got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna rinse and repeat one more time. Make any weight adjustments if you need to on the second round of the one arm row. We got two seconds. Soften those knees, push that butt out. Tighten up those abs, so pull that belly button up into the spine. Eyes on the floor. We wanna really make sure that we are keeping a good posture. We're not rounding the back. We gotta support that spine. We got 15 seconds left on this side. We got one more side to do, and then we're down on the floor for that renegade row. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, grab water guys, whenever you need it. Last time with this one arm row. Soften those knees, push that butt out. Drive that elbow up and back. Really feel that mid-back contract. Even if you drive the elbow up and hold for an extra second so that you can feel that contraction, totally fine. Watch your back, watch your posture, keep those abs tight. We got 15 seconds, guys. We're gonna hit the deck. Two dumbbells, one in each hand for that running game row. Good work. All right, we got five, four, three, two, and one. Renegade rope, knee or toes. Dumbbell in each hand. You can always start on the toes, drop to the knees if you need to. Pop it up. Get those feet nice and wide if you're on your toes. Nice big base of support. Eyes on the floor for that flat back. Pull that belly button into the spine. Watch your hips. We you want to keep them nice and square to the floor. Don't let them creep up towards the ceiling. 15 seconds, guys. We're gonna stand up. Split lunges are coming up. So I need you to pick a side, left or right. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, split lunges. Two dumbbells, one, body weight, lots of options. Pick a leg, left or right. Drop that back knee, come up nice and tall. Take a posture check, chest up, shoulders down and back. Weight on the front foot, drop that back knee down as far as you can to the floor. Push through the heel of that front foot to stand back up. We got 15 seconds left, and then we get to switch legs. That's it, come on guys. You got this, we got five seconds. We're gonna switch those legs. Woo! Good, shake it out, rock it out. Remember, adjust your weight as you go along. You might be able to go a little heavier as you get more warmed up. You may find that you need to drop the weights down if your muscles are just getting too tired, too fatigued. So make those adjustments. Good, all right. Make sure that chest is up again. Make sure your belly button's pulled back into the spine. Nice tight abs. Drop down to the floor into that lunge as far as you can. Push through the heel to stand back up. 10 seconds, guys. 
where we're going to give each leg one more time before we go into that deadlift. Three, two, good, shake it out. Each leg one more time. We got five seconds. Split those feet apart. Drop it down. Stand tall. Eyes on a focal point. It's going to help with your balance and your posture. Work within a nice big range of motion that's good for you. All right, last time on this split lunge, guys. Come on. Woo, we got 15 seconds. We'll shake these legs out. Get set up on the other side. 10 seconds, right to that timer. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Shake it out. Switching legs. And then we got one move left, that deadlift. All right, guys, three seconds. Let's get set up. Split those feet. Drop that knee up nice and tall. Chest up, abs tight. Nice big range of motion. Good work, come on. We got that deadlift coming up. Two dumbbells, one kettlebell. Like I said, you can even go body weight with the deadlift. We got 15 seconds left. Come on, last 10, right to that timer. You can grab some water if you need it. We got five, four, three, two. Deadlifts. Good work, guys. Shake, that, shake those legs out. All right, deadlifts. We got three seconds left. Grab your weight. Shoulders down and back. Push that butt back in a nice stretch. Stand up nice and tall. Abs are nice and tight. Keep that belly button pulled up into the spine. Squeeze that butt to stand back up. Dumbbells are shaving the legs. Keep your weight nice and close to the body. We've got 10 seconds, guys. We're going to grab water. We're going to go into a two-minute complex. In four, three, two. Good work. Grab some water. So, two-minute complex. Timer is set for two minutes. It's basically an air wrap. I need you to pick a side, left or right. Your magic number is five. So if my right leg is forward, I'm gonna do five split lunges. Then I'm gonna bring my left foot in, staying on my right leg, five offset deadlifts. Then bring my right hand up, squat to a one arm press for five. Then I switch sides. All right, you ready? All right guys, try to stay with me. Here we go, pick a leg left or right, we got five. So five, four, Three, two, one more. Offset deadlift, here we go. Five, push that butt back. Four, three, two, one more, one more. All right, bring that same side arm up. Here we go. Five, one arm press. Four, up, three, bicep to ear. Two, one more. Awesome, now switching lead legs. We got five, five, four, three, two, offset deadlift. Bring that foot in just for balance. Five, four, three, watch your posture. Two, one more. Bring that left hand up, squat and press. Five. Four, three, two, one more. We're back to that first side. We have 45 seconds left. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, last one. Slide that left leg in, offset deadlift. Five, four, three, Two, one more. Bring that right hand up. Squat to overhead press. Five, four, three, two, one more. All right, we got 10 seconds. Let's get our split lunges in on that other leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. How's that for timing? Grab some water, guys. We're back to our 35 and 10. We're gonna start on the floor. We 
We got push-ups to get us started. We actually do two rounds of the push-ups back to back. Make sure you've got dumbbells close by, and then we roll it over, and we're gonna go into some chest flies. All right, hit the deck, knees or toes. We got push-ups, here we go. Drop that chest down, push away from the floor. Keep those abs tight, back flat. Think of your back as a nice flat table, don't let anything fall off. Hips stay nice and square to the floor. Don't let those hips creep up towards your ceiling. Drop to the knees if you need to, or elevate the hands off the floor. We got 10 seconds. One more time with these push-ups. Four, three, two. Shake it out. We're gonna do that one more time, guys, and then we roll over for chest flies. We got three seconds. Here we go, drop that chest. Push away from the floor. Eyes on the floor, guys. Remember, you're a moving plank. Keep those abs tight. Back flat, hips nice and square to the floor. Good job, come on. We got 15 seconds. I need you to roll over with two dumbbells. In 10. That's it, guys, right to that timer. Woo, we got five. Two. All right, grab two dumbbells, roll it over for me. Knees bend, feet nice and flat on the floor. Dumbbells above the chest. Let those arms fall apart because they stretch. Squeeze back up above the chest. Keep your back pushed down into the floor. Keep your arms as straight as you can without walking through the elbows. Don't let the arms rest on the floor, just tap. Squeeze back up above the chest. Nice work, guys. When the timer goes, we get to stand up. We got squats next. Good work. Come on, right to that timer. There it is. We got squats. Two dumbbells, one or body weight. Get your feet a nice distance apart. I want you to sit and stand. Push that butt back into your squat. Drive through the heels, squeeze that butt as you stand back up. Make sure your shoulders are down and back. Chest up, abs engaged. Good work guys, we got 15 seconds. We're gonna do the squat one more time. Good, 10 seconds, come on. Get nice and low. Five, four, three, two, Shake it out. Good work, guys. We're gonna do that one more time. All right, let's get set up. Set it back. Stand tall. Sit, stand. Two dumbbells. You can drop down to one, hold it goblet style, or drop down to body weight. I just need you to push that butt back in your squat as far as you can. Squeeze that butt on the way up. We got 10 seconds, guys. We're gonna do an offset squat. Very similar to the offset deadlift. Five seconds. Basically keep your feet planted right where they are. Woo! All right, keep your feet where they are. What I need you to do is lift one foot up onto the toe. Now we've shifted our weight onto one leg. So from here, sit and stand. So all I've done, this leg's now balanced, this leg's doing the work. That's the only difference. Still push those hips back. So keep that chest up, abs tight. Good work, guys. 15 seconds, and then we switch sides. Woo, we got 10 seconds, come on. Get nice and low. Five, four, three, Two. All right, we just now gotta lift the other foot, that's it. And then we're gonna go back through this circuit one more time. Grab a seat, stand tall, sit, stand. You may not get as low into the squat with the other foot elevated and that's okay. 
I want you to get as low as you can. Pushing those hips back. Squeezing that butt on the way up. Keeping that posture nice and tall. We got 15 seconds. We're back down on the floor. We got our push-ups coming up next. That's it. Come on. We got five. Four. Three. Two. One. Grab water if you need to on the way down. Two rounds of our push-ups. Make sure you've got dumbbells close by for those chest flies. All right. You ready? Here we go. Drop that chest. Push away from the floor. Keep that back flat. Abs nice and tight. Hips square to the floor. Don't let that butt creep up. Come on, guys. You're on moving plank. Don't worry about how low you get to the floor. We got 10 seconds. Give these arms a shake. One more time with our push-ups. Five, four, three, two. Shake it out, guys. We got that one more time. One more time with these push-ups. Knees or toes or elevate those hands. All right, let's do this. 35 seconds. Drop that chest. Watch your posture. Start on the toes, drop to the knees. Start on the knees, elevate those hands. You got lots of options, guys, to keep you moving for 35 seconds. 15 seconds left, come on. Chest flies are coming up. In 10, keep going. I know it's burning. Five, four, three, two. Oh, Nelly. Flip it over, guys. Grab two dumbbells for me. Knees bent, feet nice and flat on the floor. Hands up. Drop those arms out, get a nice stretch. Squeeze those chest muscles together to bring the dumbbells back up above the chest. Keep your back pushed down into the floor. Bring those arms down to the floor as much as you can without letting them rest. Just tap, squeeze, and lift. We got squats coming up next, guys. So in about five seconds, we're gonna stand up. Grab water if you need to. Good. Rock and roll. Remember, you can do two dumbbells, one or body weight with these squats. We got two seconds left. Grab a seat, stand tall. Push those hips back. Squeeze that butt as you stand up. Chest up, abs nice and tight. Always do those posture checks. As you get tired, things start to get sloppy. Other muscles start to take over. And then that's when injuries happen over time. We got 10 seconds, guys. We're gonna squat it out one more time. All right, we got five, four, three, two, and one. One more time with those squats. Make any weight adjustments. Two seconds. Grab a seat, stand tall. That's it, push that butt back. Drive through those heels as you stand up, squeeze in that butt. Chest up, abs nice and tight. Good work, guys. I want you to get as low as you can. Nice big range of motion. We got 15 seconds. We keep our feet right where they are. We're gonna lift one heel off the floor for that offset squat. In five, four, three, two, woo. Remember, two dumbbells, one, or body weight but I need you to lift one heel up off the floor, shifting our weight onto one leg. You ready? Sit and stand. Push that butt back. Keep the weight on the heel of that working leg. Eyes up for that nice tall posture. Good work, guys. We just need to do a left and a right here. We're gonna go back to that two minute complex, and then we have one circuit left. All upper body. 10 seconds, come on. Push that butt back. Squeeze those glutes as you stand. Five, four, three, two. All right, lift that other heel up off the floor. Shift your weight to that other leg. Three seconds, we're gonna rock and roll. Set it back.
Stand tall. Don't worry about how low you get into your squat. Work within a range is good for you with good posture. Good. Sit back inside a visible chair. Drive through the heel. Squeeze that butt as you stand up. Come on, there's 15 seconds left, guys. Let's go. We're going to grab some water. We're going to go back to that two minute complex. In 10 seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Water break. Ooh, Nelly. All right, get my two minute timer. Remember, five is your magic number. So, pick a leg left or right. Five split lunges, five offset deadlift, five one arm squat to overhead press, switch sides. Stay with me. Here we go, pick a side. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Slide that back leg in, offset deadlift. Five, four, three, two, last one. Bring that hand up. Same working side, guys. Squat and press. Four, three, two, last one. All right, we are switching sides. Split lunge, we got five, five, four, three, two, last one. Slide that foot in, offset deadlift. Five, four, three, two, one more. We got a one arm squat and press. Bring that hand up, sit and press. Four more, four, three, two, last one. All right, we're back to your first side. Split those feet, here we go. Five, four, three, you're on your first side. Two, slide that foot in, offset deadlift. Five, four, three, we got 30 seconds. Two, good, bring that hand up. Squat, one arm press, five, Four, three, up, two, and one. We got 15 seconds, guys. Let's see what we get done on that other side. Five, four, three, two, offset deadlift. Five, four, hold, oh, grab some water. Nice work. Our last circuit. Our last working circuit. We're gonna start with an Arnold overhead press. So I need two dumbbells. We do the Arnold press twice. All right, get my timer. Two dumbbells for me, guys. Here we go. Hands in front. Pull apart, press overhead. Come on back down. Knees are soft, abs are tight. Watch your posture. Make sure that that back does not arch as you get your dumbbells overhead. If you need to, you can add a bit of a push press or you can alternate left and right to bring it down a notch. You've got lots of options here, guys. We got 10 seconds left. We're gonna rinse and repeat this one more time. In five, four, three, two, shake it out. We're gonna do the Arnold press one more time. All right, guys, we got three seconds. Let's get set up. Weights up, pull apart, and overhead. Now, if you find that you're swinging the weights up or arching the back, I want you to stagger your stance. Offset your body weight. That's gonna help with your posture and your technique. All right, guys, we got about 15 seconds left here. We have lateral shoulder raises coming up. So we need two dumbbells still. Almost there, come on. We got five, four, three, two, shake it out. All right, we're coming up parallel to the floor. Lateral shoulder raises. We got three seconds, make any weight adjustments. Coming up, up, back down. All right, my arms are nice and straight without locking the elbows. 
I'm aiming for parallel to the floor. Watch your posture. I am in a standing plank position. If somebody were to come and try and push me over, I don't move. If you need to bring this down a notch, alternate left and right. We got 10 seconds, guys. Overhead, tricep extensions are coming up. You can use one dumbbell or two. And three, two, good work. One dumbbell or two. We have our overhead tricep extensions, keeping those elbows tucked in. Woo, sweat up the storm. Tuck those elbows in, punch your ceiling. Come on back down. You should see those elbows in front of you. You are in a standing plank position again. Nobody can push you over. If you find your back is arching, I want you to stagger your stance. Take your time, guys. Don't worry about your speed. I want nice, good quality movement, not fast and sloppy. All right, we got 10 seconds. We're gonna do the triceps one more time. In four, three, two, shake it out. Make any weight adjustments for round two. Oh, we got three seconds, guys. Grab your weight, let's get set up. Tuck those elbows in, punch your ceiling, come on back down. That's it. Keep those elbows tucked in, knees soft, abs tight. Watch your posture. Take those posture checks. Make sure you can see your elbows in front of you. Don't let them flare out. All right, we got 15 seconds left. We're gonna go into a hammer curl for the biceps. So we need two dumbbells, one in each hand. 10 seconds, let's go guys, come on. This is our last working circuit and then you're done. Three, two, Ooh, shake it out. Two dumbbells, so hammer curls. We're gonna bring the end of the dumbbell up to the shoulder, glue that upper arm into place. All the way up, all the way down. Make sure you're in a nice standing position, nice and strong. Nobody can push you over. The shoulder does not move. We're bending only through the elbow, keeping that upper arm glued to the ribs. If you need to make this a bit easier, alternate left and right with those arms. We got 10 seconds, guys. One more time through and then we're done. So in about five seconds, we got that Arnold shoulder press. In three, two, good. You need to make weight adjustments, make them now. Overhead Arnold press, two rounds, back to back. Hands up, all the way up. All the way down, knees soft, abs tight. Don't let anybody push you over. Alternate left and right if you need to. Get biceps to ears. Get those dumbbells all the way up and overhead. Don't worry about your speed. Nice, good range of motion, good technique. We got 10 seconds, guys. We'll give these arms a shake. We're gonna do the Arnold press one more time. We got five, four, three, Two. Woo. Shake it out. One more time, guys, and then we're gonna go into those lateral raises. All right, we got three seconds. Let's get set up. Pull apart, up and overhead. Get those dumbbells right up and together. Biceps to ears, knees soft, abs nice and tight. Always doing those posture checks. Stagger your feet. If you're arching, alternate left and right. You need to bring it down a notch. We got 10 seconds, guys. Arnold was right. Lateral right is coming up. Woo, feel the burn. We got five, four, three, two. Holy crap. All right, lateral raises are here to here. We got three seconds, one round. Back down. 
down. Make sure you see those elbows. You're in your nice standing plank position. Knees soft, abs tight. Good work, guys. Stay here, your feet. Offset your body weight if you're finding your arch in the back. We got 15 seconds left here. We're gonna do these triceps one more time. Then we get to finish with hammer curls. All right, we got five, four, three, two, woo. Shake it out. One more time with those. Five seconds, we're gonna rock and roll. Let's get set up. Hands up, elbows in. Punch your ceiling. Last round, guys, this is it. Hammer curls are next and then we're done. Watch your stance, watch your posture, watch your back. Take your time, slow it down if you need to. You got 15 seconds left, guys. Come on, you got this. I know those muscles are burning. You're gonna feel the triceps, you're gonna feel the shoulders. Almost there, we got five, four, three, two, and one. Take it, camera curl. They need a dumbbell in each hand. 35 more seconds. That is it. Shoulders down and back. All in the shoulders, back down to the legs. Be soft, abs tight. Don't let those shoulders move. Lock them into place. Keep those upper body, or sorry, upper arms glued to the ribs. Only move through that elbow. Alternate left and right if you need to. We got 15 seconds, guys, and you're done. We're gonna grab some water. We're gonna get you stretched out. Come on, we got 10 seconds. Right to that timer, we're almost done. We got five, four, three, two, and done. Woo! Grab some water. Hit the deck when you're ready. Pull those knees into the chest. Give them a nice big hug. Nice big hug. Water down the wrong tube. Take some nice big deep breaths. And then bring those arms out to the side. Drop your knees to the left or right. Extend the top leg only if you need a deeper stretch, keeping that opposite arm on the floor as best as you can for a chest and shoulder stretch. And then we'll switch sides whenever you're ready. Drop both knees, hold it here, or extend that top leg. Get that arm down as best as you can onto the floor. Then we're gonna go into our hamstrings. One leg straight up, get it nice and straight. Grabbing on above or below the knee or the toe. Extend the opposite leg only if you need a deeper stretch. And then switch legs whenever you're ready. Get that leg nice and straight. Grab above or below the knee or the toe. Extend the opposite leg if you need a deeper stretch. And you may find one side tighter than the other. We're gonna go into our figure four, cross an ankle over a knee, either push that knee away with the same hand or grab onto the uncrossed leg and pull in for a deeper stretch of that hip. Switching sides whenever you're ready, either push that knee away with the hand or grab onto the uncrossed leg and pull in. Always work within a stretch that is good for you. And then we're gonna rock and roll. We're gonna sit all the way up, like straight out in front. We're gonna reach for your toes, driving either onto your ankles, shoelaces, or the toes, getting a stretch in through the hamstrings, abs, and a little bit through the lower back. Soles of the feet together. Drive onto your ankles, push down with the elbows for a deeper stretch. Final twist, one leg out in front, cross the other leg over, give that knee a nice big hug. Twist to look behind you, getting in through the hip and the lower back. And then switching sides whenever you're ready. Give that knee a nice big hug, twist to look behind you. And then we're gonna come onto our hands and knees. Flex your feet, we're gonna drive those hips up towards the ceiling, push your heels down into the floor for a calf stretch, getting your head between the shoulders as best as you can. And then slowly walk your feet towards your hands, hang like a rainbow. 
And I want you to think of pushing or separating those shoulder blades apart for an upper back stretch. Then slowly stand it up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Bringing those shoulders down and back. Interlace those hands. Open up through the chest and the shoulders. Keeping those shoulders down and away from your ears. Bring one arm across. Let's get those shoulders. Get a nice stretch from around the back of the arm. And then just switch sides whenever you're ready. Pull that arm across. Pat yourself on the back. Push that elbow back. Get a nice stretch in that tricep of the back of the arm. And then just switching sides whenever you're ready. We're gonna finish off with our quad stretch. So if you need to hang on to something for balance, to hang on to something, grab onto an ankle, get your knees close. Posture nice and tall. Push the hip forward for a deeper stretch in that quad. Nice. And then whenever you're ready, we'll just switch sides. Grab onto that ankle, knees nice and close. Push that hip forward. And then you guys are done. That was amazing. You guys got so much work done. Job well done. <laughs>